Hey there everybody and welcome to the channel, I'm your host Rama, and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at this little off-road of the Maibatsu Monstrosity. Don't let this car fool you, it may look like your average SUV, but this thing, it's got some decent things going for it. First of all, semi-bulletproof glass. Now, it will get destroyed after a certain amount of gunfire as you can see, just like all the other semi-bulletproof armored vehicles in the game. But, I didn't expect this car to get any armor armor whatsoever, so the fact that it actually has semi-bulletproof glass to even start off with is pretty dang sweet. It's what I've been told. This car also features some Amani Tech upgrades, so we're going to be upgrading this car in today's video, seeing how it handles, all the good things you'd want to know about the vehicle, and uh, yeah, having a bit of fun. I don't want to get in that car game, we want to get in this one. Alright, well, let's start off by obviously doing the normal armor upgrades, brakes, everything like that. We got, ooh, okay, I'm already obviously going for the heavy duty bull bar, that looks absolutely sick. Let's do some engine upgrades. Ooh, we got some exhaust choices. Uh, we got some base exhaust on the back, or we can do some side exhaust. Honestly, as cool as side exhausts are, I actually think I really like these big bowler chrome exhausts on the back. Those look really nice. We got some hood options. Ooh, I could do the rally lights. That is a very, very tempting option. There's actually not a lot of hood options. Like, I thought we would get some better ones, but as of right now, it's just... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big fan, but I, mm, it's very tempting to go for the rally lights, but I personally think I actually like the, the carbon wind deflector better, I don't know, I just think that looks better. Let me know in the comments what you like better, but, uh, I actually really like that, that base hood there. We got some options we can do in the back, and yeah, obviously we're gonna do the rally survival kit, why would you not do that? We got some Amani tech upgrades, being the missile lock on jammer, but that actually appears to be about it. We got some xenon lights, we got the livery options, we got some black stripes, white stripes, uh... We got a weird kind of lowrider design. Ooh, I do like this monstrosity design one. Ooh, some of these are really good. Chappelle Motorsport's pretty good. I really like that Rally Division one. Oh my god, the Atomic Rally spec. This looks freaking opic. The Chappelle Motorsport's good, and I also got to be real, Rally Division is epic as well. Mmm, there's so many good options here. For now, I am thinking I'm going to stick with Atomic Rally spec. This one just looks so cool. There's so much going on. So we'll see how we can make it look. I'm going to go for Blue Mud guards and let's do some of the rest of the upgrades first before we respray it so ooh ooh i really like that one we're going for the rally scoop that looks sick we got some skid plates which we can't, it, it doesn't really do much. Uh, let's just go for the performance skid plate. We got some snorkels, which most likely aren't going to work, but we'll try it. We'll try the snorkel. We'll test if it actually works or not. So we can do, hmm, I don't know if I want a spare tire or not. We can do the exposed spare tire or the carbon. I don't really like the carbon, to be completely honest. I'm going to go for the exposed spare tire. I think that looks the best. Uh, I'm actually going to leave the suspension high because it is an off-roader after all, and you're going to be doing some off-roading. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the suspension like that. I actually really like these wheels it has, honestly. I really like those off-road wheels, so I'm gonna leave them stock, unless if we do change these wheels, I'm gonna check really quick. If we go to, let's say, these rims, will it change the back one? No. Okay, so I'm gonna stay with the stock wheels. I was hoping that if we put a design on the wheels, it would do it on the back one, but obviously if it doesn't change the wheel type, it's not going to change that either. So, if you actually want some continuity, I'd suggest to stick with the stock off-roading rims. Let's make those windows tinted, and we got some window panels we can put on it. Honestly, those window panels look sick. Sometimes I'm not a big fan of window panels, but, um, those look sick, I gotta be honest. Those look absolutely amazing. All right, well, there you have it, ladies and gents. This is the car so far. It's actually, it looks amazing without even changing the color yet. So we got some primary and secondary resprays we can do. Let's start off just messing around with the colors and we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. And here is my monstrosity. I gotta be honest, this car looks amazing. It's very rare for Rockstar to have some banger livery options, but, uh, yeah, this one actually looks amazing with the liveries. This wasn't the only one I really liked, which is usually rare. Sometimes Rockstar has, like, one or two good options for a car, but this vehicle has absolutely amazing options for the liveries. So that is already an absolute win. Now, something I should showcase as well before we start moving is that this is all completely bulletproof here, and that's also the case for the back of the car as well. So, 
if you wanted to use this vehicle for missions, it's actually not that bad of a shout. The back and side panels are completely bulletproof. It is only the front and side panes that are actually going to be penetrable by bullets or stuff like that. So I'm going to make my way over to the mountains and let's see how this vehicle off-roads. We're going to be testing two different types of off-roading on this vehicle. The first type is simple, rallying. We're going to be going straight down Rattan Canyon and we're going to see how the vehicle does going from point A to point B. I would expect it to actually do pretty well at this just because it's a very small wheelbase and it's all-wheel drive and those two things combined with the fact that it's in the off-roads class I would just expect this to be a really really solid rally vehicle and yeah just around that first corner I can tell you this is definitely going to be a super good contender for off-road racing and just rallying in general this thing it handles amazingly look at this no problems whatsoever wow sometimes it takes me a bit of attempts uh, maybe two or three attempts to really fully learn how to control a vehicle when rallying because each type of rally vehicle has their own suspension and quirks about them, but I mean, this vehicle, first try, no problem whatsoever. This is insane how well it handles. It's the fact that its suspension is just super silky, and when you pair that with the fact this vehicle's all-wheel drive, it's just got no problems whatsoever. Wow, you guys got to try this thing if you own it. Just drive it down to Rattan Canyon over here and mess around with it, because this is absolutely insane. You can see how well we're going around these corners. So, I'm gonna be honest, this might just be the best rallying car in the game. It's not the fastest, there are vehicles like the Obey Ominous, which are probably a bit faster overall, but this vehicle's gonna win on outright handling. It is, it's just insane. I, I have to say, this is absolutely glorious to drive. While it's rallying, maybe absolutely incredible. There is one thing that I have a feeling this vehicle's not gonna be great at, and that is its overall super heavy-duty off-roading. The first thing I wanted to try is the snorkel. We're right next to the water, so it's only fair if we try it out. I have a feeling our vehicle's gonna be destroyed, but let's go in the water. Yeah, I don't understand why Rockstar can't make a freaking snorkel that works. Let me go get my car back out. Just to showcase a sheer size comparison on the monstrosity to a vehicle like the Sand King, I mean, it's literally night and day. That thing looks like a munchkin compared to the Sand King. Now, what we're going to be doing is very simple. I figured I'd showcase it in the Sand King first because I know this vehicle should be able to complete what I'm going to showcase, and then we're going to try and do it with the monstrosity. It's very simple. We're going to drive through the water here. We're going to line the vehicle up on this rock wall here, and then we're going to simply just bring it around this wall with Without trying to flood the engine. As you can see, even for a vehicle like the Sand King, this can be very, very tricky, and this is what I like to consider heavy-duty off-roading. You can see we got big rocks here, and this is where that incredible suspension, as we can see, of that Sand King easily climbs over rocks and is able to do its job. So, this gets an A-plus when it comes to heavy-duty off-roading. It might not be the best at rallying, but overall as an off-roader, the Sand King is absolutely insane. If the monstrosity can make it to where we parked the Sand King, I'll give it a solid 10 out of 10. I have a feeling it's not going to get past the first part. Let's find out. Here we go. All right, we got to start off by wedging it up here, which we were able to do. Actually, this might be not too bad because it's such a small vehicle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, we got it. We got it. It's actually, it's still holding on, but oh, you can see how that small wheelbase is definitely hurting it here. Come on. Go. No, 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 no. Oh, this is so sketch. This is so sketchy. All right, all right. We got it. We got it. All right, we made it past the first part. Now we have to go over here. We got to climb up these rocks. You know what? I might have to take this back. This vehicle's doing a really solid job. Like, sure, it's a bit sketchy, but it's doing pretty good. There's a lot of vehicles that I can name that won't even make it past that first part. So, wow. Okay, I, uh, I have to eat my words. It actually made it over here. Now, this next part is also a pretty sketchy one. You gotta use some power here. You gotta make it up this, and wow, just easy as cake. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's see if it can make it all the way to the other side. If it can, this gets my off-roading seal of approval. All right, so at this point, we gotta climb up this. No problem whatsoever. Easy peasy, and then we're just gonna squeeze through here. I wonder if Rockstar actually, like, purposely cut this out as an off-roading path, or they just accidentally had a path like this. Now, you can definitely definitely see that little rocks and things like that are going to get in this vehicle's way and it's it's not going to very easily climb up rocks and stuff like that but to be fair it is still doing it it's it's a bumpy ride and you're going to break your neck and your spine trying to get there but no problems whatsoever. Look at that. Easily making its way through. This next part is very, very sketchy. What we need to do is we need to cross the water and make it to the other side of the riverbank. So this is where the Sand King can very easily do this. Let's see if the monstrosity can. There you go. Oh God. Oh God. But again, being uh, such a small wheelbase does. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh God. Oh God. All right. We're good. We're good. We got it through. 
All right, once again, we're actually doing fine so far. Let's keep on going. We got to go around the riverbank here. Nice. All right, we're moving up to another very, very sketchy part. And uh, yeah, this one's pretty hard to do. So we're going to try and cross through the water here very quickly. There you go. So what we have to do here is we have to make it again to the other side of the riverbank, which is it's going to be tricky because of the way this vehicle suspension works. Now, the best way I figured out how to do this is you want to get a bit of a run up. So you're going to start over here. And then we're simply just going to yeet the vehicle right off onto the other side. So let's see if it can do it. Nice. And just like that, we were able to make it through. Okay, you know what? This vehicle's insane. All right, here we go. Full speed ahead. We can do it, I believe. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is not going well. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Yes. <laughs> this is actually a lot of fun. All right. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the monstrosity is an actual insane off-roader. And I'm going to title it that in the video because I did not expect... Look at this thing. This is insane. You'll also notice that when you drive in the water, the front of the car actually goes up, you'll notice, which means that it's very hard to actually sink it. Overall, um, um, th this is quite possibly the most insane little off-roader I've ever seen because I would never ever look at this It's just easily keeping its front out of the water. Sure. It did sink, but that's my fault I obviously drove it into the water there. This vehicle is insane. It is a solid 10 out of 10 and uh, Wow. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye